guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I have a ginormous, enormous, gigantic, massive fall haul to show you guys. Y'all, your girl has been shopping, okay? I started shopping, I wanna say, end of July, mid-August, or maybe early August, um, trickling down to September, and I've accumulated a lot of stuff. But this is all for fall. This is gonna last me throughout the entire season. Well, not just the entire season. Like, this will last me forever. <laughs> but I wanted to get some pieces, like some ready-to-wear pieces, some boots. Y'all know I live on the East Coast, and boots are life, okay? I haven't purchased a pair of boots in so long. Actually, maybe since 2019, because in 2020, I wasn't really going that many places in fall of 2020. 2021 was kind of like the same thing. But now... I'm a little bit more outside, so I decided to do some fall shopping. I have fragrance, yeah, I have a lot of stuff, okay? So if y'all have time today, <laughs> then spend it with me and see all what I've accumulated, what I wanted to show you guys because I'm so super excited. We have unboxings. We got a lot going on in this video, hence the reason why I'm standing up, y'all, because stuff is all over the place right now. So I just wanted to get everything together and make this video not super long, but you know, as short as I can possibly make it with all the stuff that I have to show you guys. So if you're interested, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, y'all, so we're gonna start with Bath and Body Works. We're just gonna get all the Bath and Body Works candles out the way because I kind of went ham um, in Bath and Body Works. Now, some of the candles I already started to use because I couldn't wait for this haul, but I just wanted to share with you some of the scents that I'm obsessed with this season. And so the first one is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Now, these are candles that I'll be burning downstairs in the kitchen not in my closet not in the bedroom in the bedroom and upstairs i like to burn more sophisticated candles you know what i mean like not season specific just something very clean like eucalyptus mint or something like that but for downstairs throughout the season i just like to have fun so this one right here guys is so good mm, it smells so good like i said it's pumpkin pecan waffles and i think i got like three of these another one Ooh, pumpkin apple. And that's what this one looks like. Y'all, another one that smells so good. Y'all, the pumpkin, the pumpkin has been taking over my life this season, okay? I'm smelling like pumpkin. I have pumpkin shower gels and pumpkin body lotions, pumpkin candles. It's just the pumpkin for me. So this one is caramel pumpkin swirl. I just think this artwork is so cute. So let's smell this. Oh my goodness. When I say edible, like this is so edible. That's why I like to burn these in the kitchen or like, you know, downstairs. It's just very festive, very fall. I love. And look at the, the cap. It's like pumpkins all over the cap. But this is really, really cute. I think, is this one my favorite? Yes, I think it's the caramel and the pumpkin. It's the caramel and the pumpkin for me. Okay. So what else do I have? This is a raspberry mimosa. That's what this looks like. This one smells really fruity, really sweet. I mean, it's a fall scent, but I mean, honestly, this can be burned all year round, in my opinion, because it's just a very sweet, fruity scent. You know what I mean? So that's that. This one, ooh, so this one is the perfect autumn and this is what the bottle looks like the jar so cute oh, this smells like christmas this smells just like christmas although it's the perfect autumn i feel like this can be burned into christmas and y'all i have at least two or three each of these so i'm only going to show you one for the sake of the video but that's a really good one that like i said smells like a nice cold crisp holiday christmas season type of day this one is honey crisp apple 
So that's what this jar looks like. Oh, oh my goodness. Y'all, when I tell you this smells like a Red Delicious apple, do you know that brand Red Delicious? When you bite into it, it's just so crunchy. Oh, this smells amazing. Yes, this is everything. This is everything. Love this. Honey crisp apple. Amazing, y'all. I'm telling you. I think I have one last one that you haven't seen. And this is Pumpkin Bond Fire. That's what this jar looks like. I don't know if you guys can, well, I don't know how you guys do, but for me, like the scents that I put on my body, I don't want to smell them in the house. Does that make any sense? Um, but I do think that I want to get the, what is it? The Amber Nights or Amber Romance because I'm obsessed with that scent so much that I would want to smell the candle, at least in my room. Oh, this is so good. Ugh. Bath and Body Works, listen. They are the real MVP when it comes to the candles. So I'm going to put this big bag down and we're going to get into some beauty, body care, and fragrances. Okay, y'all. So Philosophy was having a couple of sales and I was able to catch one of them. So I got three body washes and the smallest little fragrance ever. <laughs> so the first body wash I'm going to share with you is orange, cocoa, and cream. That's what this looks like, y'all. Okay, first of all, you're going to be getting a lot of y'all oh my god oh my goodness this smells like everything this is life you're gonna be getting a lot of that in this video okay because they just smell like everything oh, y'all let me tell you something philosophy body washes i done told y'all before they are the truth they're not just for the body you can use them as shampoo you can put them in the tub for a bubble bath but for me personally, I only use them as a body wash. But the scents are very creative. I love the holiday scents and the special edition scents. And they smell very potent. That is what does it for me. Like I love a body wash or anything that's supposed to be scented. I want you to be loud and scented. Unless it's like purposely, you know, I just want like a light scent, which is probably never because I love loud scents. So this one is vanilla birthday cake. And that's what this looks like. And that's exactly what it smells like. <sighs> vanilla birthday cake. It's not too sweet. You smell more vanilla than birthday cake. So if you're someone that likes that um, birthday cake type of scent, you'll like this. But I was expecting more of that sweet birthday cake type of scent. But this is more vanilla, but I still do love it. Now, let me show you my favorite one. This is the last one and my favorite one. And this is cinnamon buns. Y'all. If you love cinnamon, if you have cinnamon fragrances, or you just want to do a spicy, decadent type of routine, you need this, okay? You need this. This smells so good, y'all. Ooh, oh my good. I literally just want to taste this. Y'all, this smells so good. Listen, out of all three of them, the cacao and cream or orange cream, and the vanilla birthday cake this right here is my favorite and there's some more that i have coming in because macy's had their little sale and i ordered them but i didn't want to wait for those to come in to do the haul so i'll do another like updated body care haul or something like that because the scents that they have for the holidays are amazing okay so that is oh no i have one more thing from philosophy y'all look at this this is amazing grace the EDP, but it's the intense version. How cute is this little bottle? Y'all, I paid $30 for this. I mean, I could have done something so much better with my little $30, but this smells really pretty because I do love Amazing Grace. There's days and times in my life when I do want to just smell fresh and clean. Not a lot, <laughs> but for those days that I do want to smell fresh and clean, I love Philosophy's Amazing Grace. And this is really pretty, y'all. It has a raspberry note in here. There's vanilla in here. It's kind of creamy, kind of decadent, but in a very soft philosophy type of way, but not soft like you can't smell it because this is the intense version, but just soft like it's not like punching you in the face. But it's a very clean scent. It's like work appropriate. And this little bottle, I'll be finished this like within a month. <laughs> So let's go to Sephora. I got this cute little bag from Sephora. This has to be the smallest Sephora bag I've ever had like in life. <laughs> in life, y'all. My Sephora bags are never this little. But I only got two things because I am holding out for that sale in November, y'all. But I needed to get these. 
So for fall, I love a deep, dark, vampy lip color. You guys know that. And I love my Sephora brand. But I also wanted to try some other brands. So this is Makeup Forever. This is the Rouge Artist Intense Color Beautifying Lipstick. So the color that I got is Daring Mulberry. And I'm just going to open it for you guys. It's actually almost the color of my nails, kind of, not really. So this is what it looks like. It's supposed to be like a lipstick, a lip liner, and like a gloss all in one. So you put it, the cap like on the bottom here. So if you wanted to do it as a liner, you can just like line your lips like that or just do it as a lipstick. It's so super cute and this is the color. It's a really pretty color. I love colors like this. Anything that has like a purple undertone or like a blue base type undertone works for my skin tone. Um, I'm not really a fan of wine colors, like deep reds. They just, um, I don't like how they look on me. Any, I need something that has, oh, where's the cap? I need some, oh. <laughs> I need something that has a little bit of purple or a little bit of blue. And that works for me. So, I got that and also Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in High Impact. It's Acai Cream and I'm going to show you this one as well. This is what the packaging looks like and this is the color. Almost similar to the Mulberry color from Makeup Forever. But this one is a little bit more like a purpley, like a deep mauve type color. Love this as well. So I just got two colors because I do have a lot of um, the Sephora lip brand colors. And you guys know I absolutely love those. All right, we'll be about to go now. We'll be about to go. Okay, let's go to some more, well, one more body care and two fragrances. So y'all, y'all know how obsessed I am with Nomad, right? And I've been telling y'all, I really didn't need the cream because I have my Elizabeth Arden Pear Cream. But y'all, I was in Bloomingdale's and I smelled the Nomad Cream. When I tell you, it's potent. Now, I should have known because I have two Bond Creams. I have Chinatown and I have Central Park West, the body cream. And it smells very, very potent, very loud. If you didn't want to wear fragrance, you didn't have to because the lotion is very, very loud. So I had to get the Nomad because y'all know I'm obsessed with Nomad. It is like commercial niche, you know what I mean? But it works for me. I'm not trying to smell too exotic, too different. Like I just want to smell good. <laughs> so here is the beautiful container. It's so luxurious. It's so heavy, so luxe. And it just says Bond 9 New York on the front. And I'm just going to get my life with my nomad in this cream i just have to smell it a little bit oh i mean it's nomad for me first of all it's the pear it's the fruity oud like this is amazing and like i said i love this jar i think i might keep this on my vanity and not with the other bond creams because the other bond creams have um like it's wrapped like the chinatown cream looks like the chinatown bottle the Central Park West cream looks like the Central Park West bottle. This is just so super chic. I just love this. Love this. Also from Bloomingdale's, I got two fragrances. One of them I like a lot, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. One of them I love. So let's go with the, the one that I like a lot and I'm not sure about. So this is New Harlem by Bond Number no. 9. This is one of the most popular fragrances by Bond. Um, I've never smelled the original one. Let me say that, right? But I've heard so much about it. A lot of you guys were always telling me about it. Um, I've seen it on blogs and on like Instagram. Like everybody was always talking about New Harlem, but then it got discontinued. The thing about New Harlem, everybody was saying that it smelled like maple syrup and pancakes and um kind of smoky and coffee so i'm like um hello like sign me up but it wasn't available so now that they brought it back i decided to pick it up and i do how can i say i really like how it smells y'all like i really really do 
but it's not i'm not getting too much of the um pancakey vibe not that i want to smell like pancakes let me tell you what i'm getting this is what the bottle looks like okay it has a purple cap the juice is lighter like i've seen the juice from the original harlem and it's a deeper like more golden color juice i feel like that would be more gourmand this to me smells more it smells more like a like a whiskey kind of coffee type of scent but i do really love it like i'm not sure if i'm gonna bring it back Let's talk about this in the comments below, y'all, because a lot of you that um, love this scent or have had this scent, smelt this scent, tell me if you smelt the newer version and comp in comparison to the one that you've had before or the one that you've tried before. So I do, I do really like it. Like, I really like it. And when I tell you this lasts on my skin, like, forever, end of day, plus infinity. Like, this has tonka bean. This has coffee. This has patchouli. There's no floral notes in this fragrance. There's no fruity notes in this fragrance. So it's very straight up like coffee, woody, you know, earthy type scent. But like I said, I'm not getting like maple syrupy vibes, I guess. I'm not sure y'all. I gotta, I'm on a fence about this one. The cap is capping, okay? Like, the cap does not want to go on. So, let's talk about this one and let me know what are your thoughts about it. If you smell the new one or the old one or what have you. So, that is New Harlem. But let me show y'all the fragrance that... This is not new to my nose. I've smelled this fragrance when it first came out. But I just never got it. I was just like, you know what? I don't need it. Um, I was talking myself out of it. But every time I went into either Saks or Bloomingdale's, I would smell it. Like each and every time I'm passing the fragrance counter, I would smell this fragrance. I just had to get that. It smells amazing. But I felt like I didn't need it. So y'all, I ended up getting Tribeca by Bond number nine. When I tell you, this is about to be my new obsession. <laughs> now, the only thing I don't like about this fragrance, y'all... And it's so like cheesy of me to not like it, but the cap. This newer cap has, it's like white around it. I prefer the Bond caps that are clear so that I can see my little nozzle. I don't know, it's just, but that's what I get for waiting this long to get the fragrance because if I would have gotten the fragrance when I should have gotten the fragrance, I would have had the clear top. But now I have this white cap and it is what it is, but the scent. I mean, it smells like, no one, I've never heard anybody say this, but it smells like coconut to me. It smells like coconut and coffee to me. Coconut, coffee, caramel, y'all, listen. If y'all have this, y'all already know. Obsessed, okay, listen. Y'all, this smells so good. I've always thought it smelled good. I just felt like I didn't need it because I have Baccarat Rouge. And honestly, to be completely honest, Initially, like when I first smelled it, I was like, it smells like Baccarat Rouge, somebody wearing Baccarat Rouge in a coffee shop until I purchased it. When I purchased it and I sprayed it on again and I smelled it, I'm like, you get Baccarat Rouge maybe for like the first couple of seconds, but in the dry down and even before it dries down, it's not Baccarat Rouge. You know what I mean? Like I just, I don't know if they changed it. I don't know if my nose is able to pick up on other things because back in the day, I was one of the people that thought a lot of fragrances smell like Baccarat Rouge. Yes, I was. But my nose has matured and I feel like I've smelled so much that I'm able to now differentiate the scent of Baccarat Rouge and everything else. So although it may put you in the mind of that in the very, very beginning and not the original Baccarat Rouge, the extra, because it has that almond note in it, um, you'll get that very slightly in the opening, but y'all, this dries down to its own beautiful fragrance. Another one that lasts super long on the skin. It smells incredible. I absolutely love it. And I'm just so excited to have this for this fall. So Tribeca by Bond. Is that all the fragrances? Yes. Y'all know I don't go like fragrance crazy. I own a lot of fragrances and I want to be able to enjoy all the ones that I have before I start going super crazy. Like I need to get rid of at least not get rid of like that, like declutter, but just like wear out and empty some bottles before I even think about getting any more fragrances. So, unless it's sent to me PR, you know, that's a whole nother story. 
So that's it with the fragrances. So let's get to some accessories. So the first accessory I wanna share with you guys is from Chanel. So let's open this. So we're gonna do an unboxing. So excited to see this. Love this sleek little box. You can probably tell what's in here. Cute little sticker. Oh, that sticker is sticking, honey. So I got a stole. It's a silk stole. Look at this, y'all. How gorgeous. First of all, if you guys know me or if you don't know me, let me just let you know. I love plaid. I'm obsessed with plaid in the fall and the winter. It's so fun, so festive. Is this the right side? Because they both, it's actually on both sides. It's pretty cool. So let me just show you guys what this looks like. Look at this. And then it has the CCs like here in the plaid. It's so gorgeous. It's like the jackets, like the Chanel blazers, like the tweed coats, like mountains, kind of like Mount Rushmore, but Chanel tweed. And then, like I said, you see the detailing of the CCs there. And then on the other side, so then in the middle, you have like the sky, how gorgeous. And then on the other side, it's just multiple plaids. It just, and polka dots and plaids. This looks like a quilt to me. It's so gorgeous, y'all. The camera isn't doing it any justice. This is so gorgeous. Look at this maroon color, the blue, the polka dots, the plaids. It's just everything. I absolutely love it. So let me see if I can move back and show y'all what it looks like. So, this is how long it is. It's like super long. And Look at this. This is so gorgeous. Super cute, y'all. I'm so excited about this. It's giving all the fall vibes. Oh, and there's like Chanel over here in these little, like in the blue and green right here. How gorgeous is this? This is so freaking pretty, y'all. And the silk is silking. <laughs> It's so soft and so smooth and so luxurious. This will go with everything in my wardrobe or at least most things, you know what I mean? So let me show you another scarf that I got. Y'all, I love scarves. Living up here on the East Coast, like scarves are life. So the next scarf came from Hermes. So let's open this one, which I already opened it, y'all. <laughs> because... I was just too excited. So this is the box that it came in. I just had to see if it matched something in my closet. So it does match. And like I said, this is the box. <laughs> and the ribbon is somewhere. Where's the ribbon? Oh, okay. So the ribbon is in here. Right here. So this one is a silk and cashmere blend. It's 140 by 140. It is ginormous, but I'm gonna try to show it to y'all. I need y'all to see this. Look at this, how gorgeous. You see this like leopard? I just love this like, it's a leopard or a cheetah. Actually, this is the side right here this cheetah right here. You have this marigold color that I love. You have blue, you guys know blue is one of my favorite colors. It has all these geometric prints on there. It has stripes, it's blue. This will go with jeans. This will go with, um, this is actually like mainly for jeans and like um, cognac colors and caramel colors. And then you have that beautiful Hermes orange um, piping it's like rolled piping here 
as you can see. So let me step back so you guys can see it again. Like I said, it is ginormous. So this with some, um, some jeans, a nice blazer or jacket, you know, something like that. Oh, it's so cute. I love these colors, y'all. It's so, so cute very chic very classy it'll go with everything but it's not super loud but it's not like a solid boring color either and the blue is bluing so that's the scarf okay so i have some sweaters to show y'all so this is another unboxing so here's the receipt it's from Burberry. As you can see, very nice receipt paper. This is the box. Looks like a shoe, right? But it's a sweater. With the ribbon on it really nicely. I love Burberry. I know a lot of people are like over the Burberry print, but for me, I told you guys I love fall. And nothing says fall. Let me put some of this stuff away. Nothing says fall like Burberry plaid. So I had to get something from Burberry. Can I just take this off? Yeah, okay. So the ribbon is off. Lift up the box. The quality of this box is amazing. Oh, it's like green on the inside, like a mint green. So pretty. Ooh, this is my first time opening it, guys. Take this out. So here it is. Now, this is a very big sweater. It's already oversized and I got it in a double XL. The large fit me, okay? And the extra large fit me. But I wanted it more oversized because I just love wearing like a nice camisole with an oversized sweater, some skinny jeans and some tall boots. That's my uniform. Like on a regular, like, you know, not doing too much, but I wanna be polished and look cute and look sexy. That's my look. And I just want the sweater to be just oversized and comfortable and just like wrapping me like a warm hug. So I got the double XL. And this is what it looks like. It's like the larger Burberry prints. Let me see if I can try it on for y'all. But my sweat, my um sweatshirt, I think the, no, I can't try this on right now because it's going to mess up my little look right here. But um, y'all get the gist. It's an oversized cardigan. And it has two pockets here, like two deep pockets here. And like I said, I love the fact that it's the deeper brown. Let me show you in comparison to my Burberry sweater that's a little bit lighter. So this one here is like the typical, you know, Burberry prints. This one has like red on the sleeve. Love this one as well. So I just wanted to have something a little bit different. So as you can see, it's not much darker, but it's darker, you know? Okay, so let me show you guys another sweater. Ooh, y'all, I got so much stuff all over the place. It's kind of crazy. Um, yes, let me show you another sweater. So this sweater is from Balenciaga. So when y'all see this color, y'all are gonna be like, okay, like she had to get that. So I have three Balenciaga sweaters, two are cardigans um they're up there you guys i don't think you can see them but one is like a pink background with the black balenciaga logo the other one is a black background with the yellow balenciaga logo and then i have a yellow like a really bright yellow pullover balenciaga sweater with the balenciaga written in black 
So I said to myself, I don't need any more Balenciaga logo sweaters. Like that's it. I don't need any more. Until I saw this color. So this is my last one. <laughs> Y'all, first of all, if you know me, you know this channel, you know this is one of my favorite colors to wear, okay? So look at this, y'all. How could I not? But I'm gonna wear this as a dress with some tall thigh-high boots. And that's gonna be what it is. A very cozy, comfy look, but still trendy, still kind of sexy. Cause like I said, I'm gonna wear it with some tall thigh-high boots. So this is the sweater here. Super oversized, super warm, just so cozy. I'm not getting any more Balenciaga logo sweaters, okay? This color is everything. You guys know I love this color, so I had to get this, but now I'm done. There's a lot of trends going around, and sometimes I do like get a piece or two to be involved in the trend, you know, whatever. But for the most part, I have my own style and my own look for the fall. This year, I'm very into equestrian type of looks. Like I wanna look like I'm riding horses all the time <laughs> in tall boots, like riding boots, jeans, blazers, scarves, you know, nice hats or whatever. So I needed basic white shirts to go with my look. And I just got these from um, J. Crew. I'm saying these because I got two of them. J. Crew had a sale, so I think I paid maybe $45 a piece for these because they retail for I think they retail for like $80 why isn't the price on here that's weird but um they're just regular J Crew slim fit cotton button front shirts like I said it'll just go with my look and it's just a basic that's needed you know what I mean so Banana Republic listen I'm gonna say y'all don't owe me nothing, but y'all kinda owe me something because I've been going crazy in Banana Republic. One thing about me, like you guys, if you don't know me, I love a good blazer. I love blazers. They're very chic. They're very, you know, like you can put your look together. Very CEO, very boss chick type vibe. You know what I mean? So I love wearing blazers. But before we get into the blazers, let me show you this green silk top. 100% silk. And this color is everything. Do y'all see this color? I mean, look at this. Y'all, this color is everything. It's so beautiful. It's like a deep foresty type green and it's 100% silk. And for my tall girls, they come in tall and you can get, um, there's like a chocolate brown, there's black, there's like a mauve color, like a deep type mauve color. But I had to get this green. This green is so beautiful. Like I said, it's just a silk button front shirt. And Banana Republic was having a friends and family. So I did get this on sale because Banana Republic is tight pricey. Okay, this shirt was $150 regular price. But like I said, they were having a friends and family. So I was able to get 40% off. But um, they're pricey, but they're reasonable because for me, Banana Republic isn't fast fashion. Like I love getting my basic pieces from there. They stepped up their quality. They stepped up their style game, like their fashion game, you know what I mean? So this is another basic, but like a fun basic, you know what I mean? Love this color. I'm obsessed with blazers. So look at this color. So hot pink is the color of the season, honey. I mean, first of all, pink is always in because I love pink. But it just so happens that this season, pink is like a really big color. And speaking of pink blazers, Zara has or had a pink blazer with, I'm, I'll, if I can find a picture, I'll leave the photo up with some feathers on the cuff. Y'all, when I tell you that blazer is haunting my life, I saw that blazer over the summer and I was like, you know what? I don't need it right now. Let me wait. Child, I think I waited like two weeks. Then I started seeing all the fashion girls wearing the blazer. So I was like, you know what? Let me go on ahead and order my blazer now. Child, they only had like smalls and mediums left. <laughs> so that blazer is haunting my life. If it comes back, y'all, I'm getting that blazer. But it's so heavy, so substantial. It's lined all the way through. It's wool. So it's a great quality. Nice long sleeves. It actually comes like beneath your hip. 
this is it right here. So you, you can tell, like you can see that it's long. So imagine like skinny jeans, maybe a camisole or a button up shirt, some tall boots. This is everything, I just love this. Very simple, very easy, very put together. I don't have to think too much. And the color is amazing. Look at this y'all, the color is amazing. Now, I got this blazer, it's a little bit different. Um, it has like some gold buttons. It's a little stiffer, but it's also wool, but it's very structured. But a navy blazer, like this goes with everything. This is actually my fourth navy blazer. One is sequins, so that doesn't count. One is just plain with no gold buttons, and one is not really navy. It's like a like my favorite like cobalt blue type of color. So this one was needed in my wardrobe because I feel like I can do this in the spring, in the summer. Definitely necessary in my wardrobe. Okay, so another blazer that I got. It's the same style as the first one, the pink one, but it's in this marigold color. How gorgeous is this color, y'all? This color is so pretty. And let me show you my Hermes scarf real quick. Now, the color doesn't match exactly, but it just goes. It just works. It just works. I just love it together. It works. It could be worn with the blue blazer that I just showed you guys. Even the Chanel scarf, um, the stole will go with any of these as well. But this color just had me, y'all. It's so beautiful. Definitely a beautiful fall color. And I had to get this color. This is a staple. Like, you guys need a camel, if you want to call it camel, if you want to call it cognac, whatever color. <laughs> You need a color like this because it goes with jeans, it goes with black, it goes with everything. I love this color. Very necessary. Like I said, they don't look like anything right now as I'm holding them because they all like wrinkled and creased up. <laughs> but jeans, boots, polished CEO vibes, okay? So the last blazer I got from Banana Republic is this ivory color blazer, and it's probably gonna wash everything out. But ivory, this is like rich vibes. This is everything. Everybody needs a winter white ivory bonish type color. Like if you can get a whole full suit, winning, okay? But I just got the blazer, and they did have pants. They have pants to all of these. And I may pick up a pant, um, I'm thinking about getting the pink pants because I just wanna do like a full suit of pink, like just, you know, monochrome or whatever. But this would be cute too, like some cream slacks with this blazer, very, very sharp, very sharp. All right, so we are almost done, right? Mm, almost. So let me show you this dress that I got y'all. So it's a knitted dress. And I'm gonna link everything that's in this video. I'm gonna link everything, I promise y'all. Look at this knitted dress. I got this from the out knit. Look at the colors. It's basically like all the blazers that I got <laughs> in a dress. So there's red, there's that marigold, there's camel, there's navy. It's super stretchy, but it's so cute. Another one that just goes with like everything. This is Screaming Fall, fall vibes with boots or shoes or whatever. You know what I mean? It's not too cold yet, but you still wanna be a little bit warm. That's this dress right here. And okay, so I've been telling you guys that I love boots. Boots are my favorite and my favorite designer boots are Stuart Weitzman. Not for like ankle boots or anything like that, but for tall boots, I love Stuart Weitzman because although they're just under a thousand dollars, compared to Giuseppe boots, YSL boots, Christian Louboutin boots, the Stuart Weitzman boots to me are the most reasonable price. You're getting full leather, you know what I mean? Like stretch leather. The heels are very appropriate for me because they're, I believe they're like a 100 um, heel height. I just love Stuart Weitzman boots. So I ordered 
a few let me show you the box that it comes in this is the beautiful box i just love this color i don't keep the boxes but i just wanted to show you guys the box because i love the color and then you get this dust bag with the boots so this year stuart weitzman has been listen killing the game with the boots so come on bob i need you to act right so look at these boots y'all let me get the other one how cute are these boots look at that do you see that heel it's still like a sexy heel you know what i mean like it's still a nice cute little stiletto heel can you guys see the heel yeah you can see them better like this a still like a skinny heel but comfortable like i can strut in these i can walk in these i can strut in these i can skip if i had to and look how long they are i can't even show you how long they are literally they come like right underneath like your crotch okay these are thigh high boots honey they're super sexy they stretch they're 100 leather you know i have to let you guys know that because some people aren't into leather but for me like i need the leather <laughs> so they stretch they're comfortable super sexy just love them so i love them so much that i got this color <laughs> y'all it's kind of similar let me show you the one that i had last year this is a color that i had these are stuart weitzman as well but this was the heel that they were doing in the highland boots these are like a running around the city type of heel because these heels are a little chunky and the front is like um rounded it's not as pointy as you can see they come up really high these are over the knee boots like they come you know well over the knee but not quite to the thigh but these it's giving heel, okay? Sexy heel. It's giving pointed front, very pointy front. And it's giving thigh high right underneath the crotch. I'm telling y'all, like these are everything. Look at this. This color goes with everything. It's suede, it's a stretch suede. The black ones were leather, um, you know, like lamb leather. And this is suede. Love these so much. So, <laughs> I didn't stop there. I got this color. So, this color is very different for me, like, in my boot collection. But I felt like I needed it. Like, it's just a special color that I can just pair with so many things. Look at this. Y'all. It's the color for me. Like, y'all, look at this how gorgeous come on Stuart come on Stuart you did me right Stuart come on Stuart you did me right look at these y'all I'm so happy about this this is so gorgeous and it's coming up on camera the same color that it is like in real life it's so beautiful and it's a suede love this this I can color block with pink I can color block with green. I can wear this with yellow. Like I can wear this with so much stuff. It doesn't have to match this like purpley blue base color at all. Like I can color block this and just be just everything. I just love these. Love, love, love them. So that's the boots. Now I just have one more thing to show y'all. So I have one more thing from Versace, 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 Versace. Let me put this down. Here is Z Box. Came in this box. Remove my blazer. Y'all, I'm going to have so much stuff to put away not even funny not even remotely funny
So you guys know, like I have the black Versace robe. I got the pink one. I've always wanted this pink one, but I just never like bit the bullet. But I'm like, you know what? I wear my black one so much. Like literally, like I wear that robe all the time. I wear it in the house when I'm cold. Um, if someone comes over to like do something in the house, like that's the robe that I put on. I just love this robe. So I decided to get the pink. Let me see if I could put this on. This is gonna mess up my um my sweater. Definitely gonna jack up my sweater. But you know what? This is like the last thing that I have to show you guys. So this is the cuff in the Baroque gold and white. This is the belt that you guys probably won't be able to see. But I just felt like I wear the black one so much. Am I messed up? Yeah, I'm gonna have to lint roll myself. But I wear the black one so much that I felt like, you know what? Let me just get my little girly girl on and get the pink one because the pink is so gorgeous. I love the pink and I love the contrast of the white and gold um, Baroque print. Love this. All right, y'all. That is my haul. So leave it in the comments below and let me know what have you guys been hauling for the fall. I'm so excited for fall, y'all. It's starting to get a little bit chilly now. So I'm pulling out my fall fragrance. Well, I've been wearing my fall fragrances. Like, let's be real. But my fall routines. And I have some fall shower routines to share with you guys. So if you want to see that, leave it in the comments below. Especially with my new fragrances. I cannot wait. Um, and let me know what do you think about the things that I've hauled in today's video. Let's talk about it below like you always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out. But I'll see you in my next video. Peace.